Hey Cal fans and welcome back to the football film study on California Golden Blogs. In this week's video I'm looking at the two pick sixes that opened our game against Colorado and I'm also working on a full breakdown of our offensive struggles against the Buffaloes which you can find at the link at the end of this video. To start out let's look at the first third down of the game. Fortunately for us Wilcox is actually willing to get pretty technical in interviews so let's see what he had to say about this play. Great disguise in the coverage and so everybody was involved you know the front and the safeties and then Got the quarterback to kind of think he had one-on-one -on -one outside, and Elijah played it just right, jumped it, and scored it. All right, so from that quote, we hear that there was some kind of coverage disguise and that the quarterback thought that Hicks was one-on-one -on -one with his receiver. So, how does this work? From this pre-snap look, there are basically two ways that we could be covering these three wide receivers at the top of the screen. What Montez thought we were playing was more of a quarters technique, and in this case, we'd be playing with a three-on-two triangle over the two inside receivers, and the safety, who's Hawkins here, would be responsible for covering whichever of those two receivers ran deep. With that safety being responsible for one of those two receivers, though, that'd leave Hicks one-on-one -on -one with his guy on the outside, and with no safety help over the top. And so from the offense's perspective, the idea here is that with nobody backing up Hicks, he'd be pushed deep by the initial vertical release of his receiver, and then that'd let out that wide receiver hitch up underneath of him for the first down. The trick here is that the coverage triangle is actually over the two outside receivers, and so Hicks does have a safety behind him on the deep stuff, and this is going to let Hicks read the quarterback while playing more of a soft flat technique, and so as soon as the quarterback commits to the throw, Hicks is able to jump the route for the interception. On third down, Montez to the outside, intercepted! Elijah Hicks is going to take it back for the pick six, touchdown California! Ultimately, Hicks did a lot to help this part of the disguise. If we run this back to the pre-snap look, we can see Montez eyeing that flat right here. And as he does so, Hicks is walking off to a depth of about 8 yards, which is right at the border between a deep quarter and a soft flat technique. This is also a pretty lazy read by Montez, who's apparently decided to throw this hitch based purely on the pre-snap alignment. After the snap, we can see that he doesn't even read Hicks, who isn't bailing at all. He just catches the ball and throws it immediately for the pick 6. Now let's turn to the second interception. Montez fires it, it's intercepted. Ashton Davis with the pick. Davis down the sideline. Davis takes it to the house. Here's Wilcox again. The next time I think it was a third down, Ashton put in a coverage where he's the, the robber and played the second window we call it. And same route they beat us on last year for like three huge plays on a dig by two. We call it two, three dagger and Ashton played it perfect and caught the ball and scored it. The key word that Wilcox uses here is robber, and the broadcasters used that same term as well when they broke down this play. So what's a robber? When we look at this pre-snap alignment, it looks like we're playing a split safety coverage just like we did on the last play. In a robber coverage, you're going to show split safeties like this, and then you're going to spin to a single high coverage with one safety playing the deep middle of the field and the other robbing crossing routes in the intermediate hole underneath of him. This kind of robber coverage is often used to replace blitzing inside linebackers in the middle of the field, and that's what we see going on on this play. So that's what Davis is doing here. His interview also gave us some good info, though, so let's check out what he has to say in his postgame quote. You know, my play, I, we, we got gashed for it. You know, the, the people in practice, they were gashing us for that play. And so um, I kind of took a look at it on film and uh, saw how I, I could better play it. And, yeah, so hats off to those guys. Those are the guys that got me got me right for that play. All right, so this is really good stuff. What Davis has told us here is that we're getting killed on this play in practice, but that he saw some stuff on film that he could do better to take it away. I don't know for sure what he meant by this, but I do have a pretty good guess. And so to get into this, let's hear what the broadcasters had to say about this play. This is a great job of disguising coverage here. Started too high safety, went into a three robber. Steven Montez doesn't have a, doesn't even see him come into the play right there right place interception okay so the broadcasters said that montez never saw davis playing this robber technique but i actually don't think that that's true if we pause right here montez's first read is up to the safeties and right at this point i think it's clear that he sees davis rotating down to play the robber what i think is happening though is that he's expecting davis to stay in the middle of the field to cut off this route the thing that Davis does, though, is jump to the outside as soon as Montez turns his eyes. And so I think that Montez knew that Davis was the robber here. I just think that he didn't expect him to cut over to the second receiver. I don't know for sure what Davis was talking about, but this is easily the kind of minor adjustment that he could have caught on film and then converted into six points on Saturday. 
All right, that's it for this week. I'll also be posting a full write-up of our offensive performance against Colorado at patreon.com slash burke18. So check that out if you want. And otherwise, I'll be back here next week to break down the big game. So go Bears and get the axe.